start off with a treat because this is our another first that we have tonight. Because our first speaker of the second half is actually Ayla Steven Ayla. and Ayla. Sorry, Ayla. She like told me like 14 times, and she's like, people screw my name up, and I'm like, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm now one of those people. Ayla Steven is an improviser, actor, and theater producer, and tonight. There's three unique things to her presentation. Number one, you can see that bad boy set up on stage. She's going to be using transparencies. You guys were the nerdiest junior high class ever, probably. <laughs> transparencies is number two. I uh, know that is number one. Number two, she's going to be improvising it. And number three, she hasn't seen any of the slides before. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome up on stage, Ayla Steven. Thank you for having me. My name is Ayla Steven, and I will do a very professional presentation for you. Okay, we're just working out our timing situation here. So I guess Will will tell me when he's ready to go instead of vice versa. It's okay. Uh, ideas. Transparency and ideas. Uh, I am a performer, as you learned. I'm an actor and an improviser. Uh, and there is uh, a lot of transparency that you need to get up on stage and speak to people. I think even as people who have never spoken in front of the public before, that brings forth a lot of transparency to uh, yourself and how you react to those situations. Uh, and do you really get a sense of your own identity when you do it? <laughs> You really learn how you work under pressure, you understand your body's physical reactions. I'm shaking while I'm up here, uh, trying to keep myself calm. Uh, but you also learn how you react. Uh, and it can make you real happy. <laughs> it makes you really happy to learn something about yourself. Uh, it can also make you um, upset to learn specific things about you, if there are things that you judge others for or you don't like. but. Learning about those things can make you happy because it means that you can change. And when you change, you soar. <laughs> you learn how to overcome those obstacles and you learn that you aren't just the person that you thought you were, but you're something else. And <laughs> inside of you. It could also be that you learned that you actually like cats when your whole life you thought you were a dog person. And that opens you up to a whole new species of love and care. And that really helps you find your home when you're feeling lost in the vast expanses of the world and the prairies. And you get a little more centered. You find your home and you expand with the universe. You learn things about others when you learn about yourself. Like, punctuality is the key to all good relationships. <laughs> when you arrive late to a meeting with a friend or a lover, they will feel neglected. They will feel like their time is not worth it. And you want to make sure that the people you're with know that you value them. Aww. Like this group of friends here. <laughs> Three of them arrived on time, but Steve, that asshole on the end, <laughs> arrived late like he always does. Which means they couldn't get the sweet coffee in Canmore. But there was hope. <laughs> and the hope is that Steve will learn about himself, that his friends don't like him to be late, and he will become punctual. We all feel hope for our friends who are like Steve. Because he will learn about himself and then he will soar and discover a true gem within himself. Because it takes a lot of risk to change. And it takes a lot of risk to swap out one part of yourself for another part. Don't change. <laughs> You're subjecting yourself to a 
lifetime of incarceration within one personality. <laughs> Former truly holds the mirror up to nature. <laughs> Quoting Shakespeare. <laughs> and again, you can soar. <laughs> but this time you've learned so much about yourself that you're traveling with a world of knowledge that you didn't know you had before. And I think that's really just like life. Unless you've incarcerated yourself. <laughs> and that will also lead you to some places that are very scary. <laughs> You'll feel like you've been chained up to the train tracks like a damsel in an old western, waiting for someone else to come and rescue you. When really, you've just got to shake around a bit and loosen up those ropes <laughs> and hop on the Titanic. <laughs> Jet. You gotta rebuild those relationships. And you start from one end and slowly put one plank down in front of the other. And eventually, you'll make it out to the Milky Way. <laughs> A place that, from view to where we are, looks expansive and scary and it's full of mysteries. But when you get up close, you'll still be like, what? <laughs> And that is what you're gonna feel really great about, is that you'll still be up there, being really scared, but you'll look back down to Earth, and you'll know that home is still there. There's still somewhere for you to go back to if you're wearing the right space suit. <laughs> and that's where we come back to Calgary. <laughs> a place where I've learned a lot about myself. A place where many of you, I'm sure, have learned a lot about yourselves while engaging civically, or choosing not to, because that's your right in our democracy. Uh, and that's where we leave off. We all are blank slates, despite all of the learning and the soaring that we have done. We still rewrite your story. Thank you.